Hey guys, welcome to another uh, episode of Finance X Media. Um, appreciate you guys joining us. Today we are going to provide our taxes, tips, and treasures. Um, we are going to go into various things, you know, backdoor Ross, um, Section 179 bonus depreciation. We're also going to go into investments. Um, so, Jaron, do you want to tell us a little bit more about the yeah. how you go backdoor? Yeah, <laughs> on the Roth. So so Roth. I know a lot about this. Okay. The backdoor Roth is his favorite. <laughs> it's because of the Roth. Because yeah. of the Roth. Roth, not the backdoor. <laughs> no. <laughs> so a backdoor Roth, it's it kind of sounds like you're like a spy or something. Yeah, it's like sneaky. it sounds yeah. so sneaky. Yep. Uh, and really, all it is is you contribute to a non-deductible IRA, which is a different type of IRA. Uh, the limit, by the way, for that is $6,500 for 2023. And then you can convert that non-deductible IRA to a Roth IRA. Now, why that's important is there's some income limits that stop you from contributing to a Roth IRA. So there's if you're single, it's 138000 and then it starts to phase out. And then if you're married filing joint, uh, it's 218000 and then it phases out. Do you think that's, so we can say we're leveling the playing field that the ultra wealthy can't do certain things, but then there's also loopholes to yeah. do things it, like this? Just keep an incentive to do it. Sure. You, you know what though, if you look at our normal client's tax return, and I, I know that we work with a certain group of people, but we have a lot of regular middle class people. Sure. If they have interest income or they have dividend income, they're paying taxes on that. Mm -hmm. What Jaron's describing would completely get rid of your interest and dividend income. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with a little bit of planning, I mean, if you want to pay 20% plus 30% on your interest and dividends, I knock yourself out. So yeah. what they should do is schedule a tax plan. Probably. Yeah. And they yeah. could use his back door yeah. to get some savings. Yep. So use our back door. <laughs> 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 So it's tight. <laughs> <laughs> so always so, open. <laughs> a revolving door. <laughs> revolving, the revolving back door. Back door. Uh, so then also of uh, twenty two thousand five hundred, you can contribute to a four hundred one k. Most people know what a four hundred one k is. Uh, it's offered through your employer. And a lot of them do a 401k match. Mm -hmm. So according to Fidelity Investments, the typical plans are 4%. Some of those plans are brought up by larger companies uh, that have really generous plans. This is a, literally a Christmas bonus. Yeah. Yeah. This is a bonus that more than half of the W-2 people don't take. Right. Here you go. Here's a Christmas present. We wrapped it up and we gave it to you. Well, and I know you do a lot of trading. So if I get my match, what's my percent return? on a match. 100%. And it's immediate yeah. and guaranteed. Yeah. <laughs> That's hard to be. It's a yeah. brainer really. Yeah, the, the, only, the only reason people don't do it, the only reason is you have to put up some of your money to get the match. Sure. But you literally, it's like I said to you, hey, if you give me $1,000, I'll give you $1,000 and match it. Okay. How long do I have to do that? Well, I guess you really only have to do it for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. You could pull right. it out. The penalties would be way less than what you get back. It's literally, this is a Christmas present, and I want people to, mm -hmm. to take as, it. As an employer, what does that look like on the employer's side? It, it is, for us, it is an expense, mm -hmm. but, I mean, to be honest, you don't, you don't mind paying it. Sure. You need people to participate in your plans. It, there's different actuarial it, stuff that goes on. Can you write it off as an employer? You write it off, yep. Is it up to, it might be up to a yep. And it's not FICA or Medicare taxed, so... Mm -hmm. Whereas right now you get a W-2, you're paying 15.3% combined. Mm -hmm. There is a tax. Yeah. I don't know if people knew that. Guess what? There's a tax even when you put it in your 401k. There's always a tax. There's always a tax. Always a tax. On the employer match, there's nothing. There's no Social Security, Medicare. Very cool. Um, and then, because I feel like the holidays are really a time for a lot of decisions. You know, you got taxes coming up. Um, but should also, I have the second eggnog? Should you have that second eggnog? <clears throat> Who yes. are you going to get <laughs> gifts for? And like credit card debt piles yeah. up, you got to take care of that. And you're trying to get gifts. So credit card up. debt has reached all time highs mm -hmm. with interest rates at what, 23% we were looking at? 23% interest people are paying right now. Right. And it's more than half, half the people have it. 
I, I also, I kind of have to laugh to myself when I, not necessarily the clients, because we, we try to be proactive and tell them, but when I hear people say, oh, I'm not going to buy this house right now because we're at 7%, but they're also paying 25% on their, on their credit card. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, they, but they're going to hold out for the, Pick and the choose. 1% or 2%. Yep. So. And, and your wife, sorry ladies that are watching, your wife does have a secret credit card that you don't know about. Yes, it's always a TJ Maxx. Uh, or one of those one. ones. They sign yeah, up. TJ. Free yeah. promotion. I don't want a free promotion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Apple, isn't the Apple credit card pretty good? I, I, I don't think so. any of them are good. It just, it's <laughs> going to cost you Dave more. Dave Ramsey would say nothing not that's good. Dave Ramsey would say it, everything cash. Yep. Yep, and we respect, shout out to Dave Ramsey, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas. But Dave. he won't like this idea that we talked about, which is another one of our presents, just like that free bonus that people are missing out on at the end of the year. What if you, we were talking about this, what if you were to lower your withholding on your W-2 so that you didn't have any <clears throat> federal taxes coming out on your paycheck? And then you set up an auto payment for that exact same amount and paid your credit card debt instead. This is obviously a what if. You're not suggesting that people don't pay their taxes. This is only for entertainment purposes. But if you did that, let's let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. What would happen? What would happen? Well, I mean, you'd be paying off the higher rate debt. Twenty-three percent. <clears throat> that seems to be the best. What's the rate? IRS's rate? Seven percent right now. So you'd be paying off a twenty-three with a seven percent. Who isn't going to bother you for a full year from now? Whereas the credit card companies are hounding you and you're seeing that oh, every yeah, month. Constantly. Yep. Because they have to go through all the uh, bureaucracy of the IRS. Yep. So there's just a time gap, I guess. Sorry, Dave Ramsey. I love the idea. Mm -hmm. So you could take that federal withholding and pay off your credit card. You've got this bonus idea and pay off your credit card. Mm -hmm. Most people have $6,000 of credit card debt. That's the national average. Yeah. Six to seven. Mm -hmm. Six to seven? Yeah. Seems so within two out. years, you're out. You've yeah. paid it off. I mean, and you didn't change your cash flow at all. That's like a car. That's a car of debt. I think it's a debt. great gift. That's I mean, crazy. Merry Christmas. That's a, that's a great strategy. That is an actual taxes tip and treasure. That is a literal mm -hmm. treasure. The You know the one, do you know any, anything about the Section 179 for vehicles? Section 179 on the vehicles, I get this question a lot. Um, always usually happens at the end of the year. You know, people have high income on their business. They want to offset as much of that income as possible. They get on TikTok. It's constantly spread yeah. around TikTok, section 179. Right off a vehicle. Yeah, right I'm off my Rolls Royce, <laughs> my, you know, Escalade, you know. Yeah. The first part is your income has to support it. Right. Like I, I'm never, I'm never going to advocate, you know, buying a car buying that, a Lambo. You, that you don't really need. Right. Um, with section 179, um, to get the bonus depreciation this year, it is only 80%. Um, in the past years, it's been 100%. This year, 80%. Next year, it's been 60%. So we have to use a combination of the bonus and 179 to get it. Yep. And, we, and we can get it to zero out if it's 6,000 pounds and a truck. If it's an yep. SUV, yep. they're capped at 28,000. 20, yeah, what was 28,000? 28,900. 28,900. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, so it is, that is a gift. That is our third Great Christmas present if people want to. Yep. Yes. Yeah. I mean, if you Santa. really need it, but you, you know, a lot of people don't know, you can buy a used vehicle mm -hmm. and it qualifies not so much for the bonus, but the Section 179. Because uh, okay. it's new to you. Yep. Gotcha. Um, and on that, I had a lot of questions. Is it just the cash or if you finance it? It still it, counts. Yep. Even if you finance yep. the vehicle, um, you can still yep. use Section 179 bonus depreciation for the full amount. But I highly advise doing those other tips we talked sure. about first, and sure. this is the last one. Mm -hmm. But if, you, if you're still going to owe taxes and you've maxed the other things out, I say go for it. Yeah, but it's definitely... Get yourself a shiny new yeah, truck. The third line of defense, not the first yep. line of defense. And you know, it, this is a nuclear weapon. It's not the... <laughs> Tactical missile. Yeah, yeah. From an IRS perspective, it should be a hundred percent business use as well, which is yeah. subjective. Yeah, we we can go over that and you but know. My wife is on my W two. Right. Consult your CPA on sure. all this stuff. Yeah. This is just entertainment, but yeah. Sure. Well, and and more importantly, just remember when you're buying a truck or you know an escalator or whatever, mm -hmm. you're still the money's leaving your bank account and yes. it's not coming back. The dealership you're still takes paying the it. money. Yeah. yeah. So. I'd much rather see that in my four oh one K, right, Dave Ramsey? Yeah. yeah. What exactly. about mail in mail order brides? 
right off. Are those? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but they're six thousand oh. pounds. <laughs> <laughs> but in that case, sorry. <laughs> I was just thinking Santa Claus. You know. <laughs> what if I get multiple? Yeah. Uh, not the six thousand. Just and kidding. You appreciate it. Oh, love, love you, honey. 000. That was just a joke. <laughs> Yeah, so I think uh, if, if we can use these tips, so we went over back to a Roth today, uh, we went over the 401k match uh, using your, basically paying off your credit cards instead of your taxes, right. hypothetically, and uh, and then when you buy a truck, just make sure that it's a, the right decision. Uh, make sure that you, that, you know, your savings equals your tax. Yes, yeah, Santa, Santa knows. And he's watching. Santa he's definitely watching. fully depreciated that before. Yeah, he, <laughs> they, he gets a new one every year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, when you're balling it up, just remember this section 179 uh, expense. But thanks for tuning in. Uh, tune in for future videos uh, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Finance X. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, guys.